red fort but a wrong day <laughs> it's very funny i came to red fort and you can see behind me the red fort is there but uh, the day is wrong because uh, on every monday the the red fort is actually closed and uh, i'm not sure there is some kind of like bharat agya vidhata function over here which has like crafts and something like that not too good in crafts so don't feel like spending 50 rupees for that but let's see i'll go to some other place so not very far from red fort it is, uh, there is another fort which is like the firosha kotla fort very famous so i'm going over there and this is the firosha kotla fort which i have reached and this is looking really very different and magnificent right from outside not a massive fort if you see the like the structure doesn't look like very too tall or something like that but it is nicely spread and maybe it might have like over the so many hundred years or so ago it was built it has might be broken somewhere but the walls which are intact it actually shows that it is not too high like many other forts built during those era of uh, mogal emperors and all let me tell you that this fort has jama masjid which you see right now it also has uh, a very massive garden and also an ashoka pillar so all in all there is lot of things we will discover that also the most attractive part one of the things which many people visit also is like the garden the reason is kids can play around and it looks uh, very beautiful and very pe peaceful also there's not too much commotion or anything structure looks very different because there are many like these kinds of uh, entrance uh, which uh, is there Th this is like block means normal people cannot go over there and uh, there are many other aspects also which is like block but this is the ashoka pillar it actually was not originally over here but uh, when this was built it was like transferred from one place to other and uh, I forgot to mention like who built it. It actually is with the name of the fort itself. It was built by Feroz Shah Tughlaq, and this particular Ashoka pillar he got it transferred over here when he built. So this was really very nice that he sent it over here or like transferred it over here. Now this is to the north of Jama Masjid. You can slow it down and like you can read it the entire detail if you want. And uh, Jama Masjid is also very big. even today the prayers are done over here so and every thursday it is said like there are a lot of people also who come over here to pray now this is the behind pack of uh, jama masjid i mean like you can say it is the east side to which you are seeing right now and there is like massive garden the pillar which you saw is actually towards the north side in the west side many aspects uh, or many area it was like uh, not allowed i think for renovation or some other purpose or something like that nevertheless this fort looks really really very beautiful and uh, it is a very good place to hang around or like visit once at least and the very famous feroz shah kotla cricket ground is very adjacent to it also you can see the light over there so it's like uh, this particular cricket ground is like towards the north west side and this cricket ground is now known as a uh, Arun Jaitley Cricket Stadium if i am not wrong so right to this uh, pillar towards the northwest side you can see this cricket ground lights also so now i'll be heading out of this fort because i enjoyed it thoroughly now i'm heading to kareem and uh, for lunch so i'll be going to delhi gate and then back track Let's check out how the food is over there. It's known for its butter chicken. Let's see how good it is. It's not going to be easy for me to find because I have not been there before. But let's see. In order to reach to Kareem's restaurant from anywhere, you have to reach to Jama Masjid Metro Station because it is very close to Jama Masjid, which is very famous mosque in Delhi and one of the big mosques also. So I'm heading towards that itself, and this is Jama Masjid Metro Station where I got down, and uh, from here I'll be heading to Jama Masjid Gate Number One because the Kareem's restaurant is exactly located near the street of the Gate Number One.
and here you will see like people irrespective of caste, creed, religion there are a lot of people coming to have their dinner or to enjoy people even eat nalli nihari, butter chicken lot of dishes are available of non veg this is like a jam pack and it's like almost full even I have the cube very interesting but not a long wait time so let's see, I'm thinking to order butter chicken okay. and roti because I am alone so I will be ordering like too much this is the butter chicken I've got and you can see like I've already taken one bite to taste it and this is phenomenal I mean it is not famous just like that this is also a seek kebab which I've got but even though I like seek kebab but the butter chicken is exceptional I mean you don't even need to buy anything else if you really want to try it and the other important thing which I would like to share is uh, this particular place uh, has lot of non-veg dishes so if in case you are vegetarian or something please uh, do not try over here you might not like to your taste and the other important thing is this butter chicken quantity was so much that two people can easily eat it I mean I tried to finish it and I literally finished it uh, and I am filled till my neck but really I would try it again and I would surely try to bring my family also to enjoy over here and let me head to Jama Masjid to relax for some time <laughs> Jama Masjid is one of the most iconic places in De Delhi and it is actually located very close to old Delhi and uh, the other important thing is it was built quite a long time back it was built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan during the years of uh, 1650 to 1656 and then uh, the first imam named Sayyid Abdul Ghafoor Shah Bukhari uh, inaugurated uh, the mosque and then the entire descendants of that particular imam is actually the main imam main imam is the one who is like uh, offers the prayer and is like the pinnacle of uh, preaching in uh, the mosque the other important thing is uh, you can see a very broad area of uh, water which is for the wuzu which is uh, done before any prayer or before entering the mosque uh, to offer the prayer this particular mosque is uh, having big market uh, nearby located and it's like covered from all the four sides uh, by lot of people and you would really feel that it is very congested but uh, the people flocking for market uh, or like purchasing something or visiting Jama Masjid is like very unique and exceptional. I'll just sit down at one particular place and rest myself because there are a lot of people over here. So after having that fantastic meal, I'm relaxing at Jama Masjid. So yeah, not many people around me, so I've not put in the mask right now but otherwise there is a lot of crowd a lot of people it's uh, very beautiful to visit and uh, there's no entry fees so only fees i think is for the tower above I'm not sure why but that is not currently open the tower is basically like the first floor of the side walls which one can access and that is also actually limited not all the side walls are open really so I have like rested for more than 30 minutes and now I'll head to Hazrat Nizamuddin railway station because from there I'll be starting my next journey and uh, this is a series because I came to Delhi by Delhi Sarai Rohila Gharibrat Express you can watch it through the i button or the link mentioned in the description also and uh, I'll be going to Amritsar and there are like many more videos and things to see so don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the subscribe button hit the bell icon so that you could be notified when my new video will be uploaded thanks a lot for watching and i really appreciate that if you have any questions any suggestions or any place for recommendation or any mode of transport feel free to comment through the comment section i'm also on instagram so if you want to follow on instagram please click on the link in the description or you can search it through the same channel handle name that is cheers to journey delhi is too big so there will be many more vlogs in future i'll try to cover many more places take care this is adil signing off for now see you in the next vlog